Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be learn about J split fan in Java. J split fan is used to divide two components. The two components are divided based on the look and feel implementations, and they can be resized by the user. If the minimum size of the two components is greater than the size of the split fan, the divider will not allow you to resize it. The two components in a split pan can be aligned left to right using J split pan horizontal split or top to the bottom using the J split pan dot vertical split. When the user is resizing the components, the minimum size of the component is used to determine the minimum to the maximum position. The components can be set to. Now we just see the coding example of this JPAN. So import java.awt and import javax.swing. So I just import here the two libraries private, static, void, and create and show method and then here I just create the frame so final j frame and the frame which is equal to new j frame and here I just write j is split okay now I just display the window so frame dot set set is the size here and the size is 300 and the 300 okay now frame dot set visible and the visible here is true and frame dot set default on close operation which is j frame dot exit on closed and then set the flow layout for the frame so frame dot get content pan and dot set layout and the layout here is new flow layout okay now i write a string and a string here is option number one so option number one is equal to a b c d e okay and this is in the string sorry it's a string and here 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 and here too okay so I just close this one and this one okay now I just go to the J combo box so J combo box and box number one which is equal to new J combo box so i just create the j combo box here and here i just write option number one and now i just write a string and option number two which is equal to so i just copy this one and paste it here so i just write Sorry, here I just write one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, this is our option number one, and this is the array size. And now, here I just write J combo box and the box number two, which is equal to new J. Combo 
box and it's option number two sorry it's option number two here okay now i just create a panel so panel which is panel number one which is equal to new panel and this is a capital p here so i just create a panel here and then i just add the panel so panel number one and add and add which is in box number one now panel which is panel number two which is equal to new panel and i just add this panel into sorry i just add panel number two dot add into the box number two okay now i just use j is split panel so j is split pan which is split pan is equal to new j split pan and here j split pan dot horizontally split and panel number one and panel number two okay so i just add this into the panel number one and the panel number two and here i just write frame dot get content pan dot add and add is the split pan okay so if you want to add this pan to the vertically so simply replace this here the vertical is split and then panel number one and panel number two simple now public static void main string arguments and here i just write java x dot swing dot swing utilities dot invoke dot invoke later and here new which is runnable okay and create and show method mean this one create and show gui method okay so here means it's a it's gradually a job to the event dispatching thread mean it is only the dispatching thread here and then it's create the gui window okay and here i just write public void run okay so this is our run method and it will run the gui here so now and close this string here now i just run this code and you can see we have the panel panel number one and then panel number two in the horizontal way a b c d and one two three four five you can see here so this is a simple example of j panel in java thanks for watching this lecture see you in